Christmas. So we had my fiance's family holiday party the other night and it was a little bit awkward. My future mother-in-law stormed up to me and asked me why I came instead of his assistant. She said that his assistant fits in with the family way better than I do and none of them like me that much. I wanted my fiance to stick up for me, but he didn't and he actually agreed with her. Then I sat in the car for the rest of the night. It was kind of sad, but I was over it by the morning time. Oh, the weather outside is frightful. But Christmas morning breakfast for my 10 kids with Hungry Jack. All you need is the mix and water. It's super convenient for my big family. I added some green food coloring and then I made pancakes in all different sizes. I also made some bacon and eggs. Then I stacked the pancakes from biggest to smallest, added some icing, some little candies for decorations, and a star toothpick on top. And you get pancake trees. Be sure to make Hungry Jack a part of your holiday traditions. From all of us at Doherty Dozen and Hungry Jack, we hope you have a safe and happy holiday season. If you're looking for the easiest Christmas morning breakfast, this is a French toast bake and it's really nice because then you don't get stuck making a bunch of different rounds of French toast and standing in the kitchen, you can eat with everybody at the same time.
Hey guys, here's my favorite Christmas breakfast. It's my baked French toast. This is delicious. It's a tradition in my family, and I hope it will become a tradition in yours. It's wonderful because you make it the night before, and it's baking while you're opening your gifts. Slice one loaf of challah bread, then melt one stick of unsalted butter, and put in one cup of brown sugar and mix. Spray a baking dish with nonstick spray. Put down your butter sugar mixture. Then in a bowl, crack in four eggs, cup and a half of milk, tablespoon of vanilla, and beat that up. Then put down half of your bread, half of your egg mixture, and cinnamon. Another layer of your bread, the other half of your egg mixture, more cinnamon. Cover it and put it in the refrigerator overnight. And then in the morning, preheat your oven to 350. It will bake for one hour, covered with foil. The last 20 minutes, take it off. Serve with powdered sugar. Okay, people, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., Santa's coming to town. Six ingredients, and we're gonna have coffee cake. Set your oven to 350. Let's crumble. Buy yellow cake mix. Two thirds cup of cake mix. Boom. Brown sugar. One cup. Five pecans. One cup. Half a stick. Melt it. Pour it in. Mix it good. Cinnamon. Just a dash. Mix like this. Remaining cake mix, dump it. Three eggs, boom. Sour cream to the party. Mix it good till smooth. Spray an eight by eight. Now we layer half the cake mix, half the crumble, other half of cake mix, other half of crumble, boom. Bake at 350 for 45 minutes to an hour. Smells so good, let it rest for 15 minutes. You guys are gonna freak when you try this. Crazy Busy Mama here, perfect for Christmas morning breakfast. And it's so easy too, mamas. Two cups of brown sugar with a stick of butter, six eggs, two cups of milk, some vanilla, brown sugar mixture on the pan. Layer that pan with some French bread. Mix up your eggs and your milk and pour it on top. You can make this ahead, put it in the fridge for 24 hours before you bake it. Add your favorite fruits, pop in the oven at 450 for 30 minutes of the most amazing hot breakfast for Christmas morning. Yummy! If you're looking for a really easy recipe on Christmas morning when you just don't have a lot of time, give this one a try. First, I took some crescent rolls and layered them into the shape of a candy cane. Then I spread cream cheese on top, also added some cranberry sauce, but you can really use whatever you would like. Then I folded over the crescent rolls, baked until golden brown, and added a glaze on top. They were super great. These two ingredient chocolate croissants are perfection. For the holidays when you have people coming over or the kids are just opening presents under the Christmas tree, those are family moments where you should be there, not slaving away in your frickin' kitchen. Take some Pillsbury croissants, take a teaspoon of your favorite chocolate, roll it up just like that. I pinch it, you know, a little bit. Put it on a silicone mat, 375 for 10 to 12 minutes and a little powdered sugar if you'd like. And look how beautiful, they're so good, so easy.